Hello chaps, I'm Nuts resident gaming expert Lucy Collip. This is our resident gaming show Girl Got Game and this week it's a Call of Duty special. Yes indeed, last week we travelled to a super secret location in Britain's exciting London, the Hilton Heathrow, rather boringly, and played the Call of Duty ghosts from flipping on the console to flipping off the game when the last credits ran to shouty Eminem with hours of hands-on with the multiplayer in between to deliver to you, our wonderful gaming chums, a comprehensive ghost review. Sit tight, here it comes. Back again with another anthem, I stop when it doesn't have to end. We'll start with the campaign, and although we're promised a major reboot, it does rather feel predictably familiar. As you, special ops chap and murdering expert Logan Walker, follow a teammate, this time your brother Hesh, through bullet hell and back. Yep, you're still staring at another man's lolloping backside for eight hours. This is Call of Duty after all. Always the following men's bums, but that's not to say there's not new stuff. New is the Federation, this game's baddies. They're a ragtag super state made up of the Union of South American States. And while Mexicans with guns doesn't sound too sinister, they're grumpy with us, really grumpy. The game literally says, look, some cruelly drawn baddies, don't worry about their backstory, just stop bloody shooting. And a shooting you go. There are 18 missions starting in San Diego and finishing in South America's Atacama Desert. Taking in Las Vegas, Rio de Janeiro, Antarctica, an American aircraft, a huge oil rig under the Pacific Ocean, and in a lower Earth orbit in between. It's your usual willy swinging epic stuff with explosions, skyscrapers collapsing noisily, entire cities being drowned, and incorporates firing remote sniper rifles, driving nippy tanks, taking out choppers with surface to air missiles, and raining death utter awesomely from an Apache attack helicopter. But you're here for the multiplayer, right? And that is mint. Alongside your expected death matches, domination, kill confirmed, and the brilliant search and destroy modes, our new modes cranked. Simply, Get a kill, you perk up, don't get a kill within 30 seconds, and you explode into a righteous fireball of anger. And search and rescue, an objective-based round where you can revive down teammates, is what COD does best, and you'd have to be technically dead not to be impressed. But my respect is over to I'm so in uniform, no one does, I don't know no diploma for school, I quit, so there's nothing for me to fall back. Plus, instead of zombie shenanigans, launching this year is Extinction. A four-player co-op mode which is basically left for dead with aliens, where you team up to complete objectives while being menaced by even bigger aliens. And it's a real-time sync and truly fanatic gaming fun. Go, go, go. Also new is squads. If you're like us, a bit rubbish at Call of Duty Online, this is for you. It's an offline mode where you can create a badass squad of 10 soldiers and then play versus teams of game-created bots. The genius is that there's a sliding scale of difficulty, so you can dial it down to learn the maps, experiment with weapons and level your squad up, without taking three steps onto a map and getting taken out by a 12-year-old cod ninja with the reflexes of a cat on meth and a super-powered sniper rifle. Then dial up the difficulty as you get better. Simple, effective. So our verdict? The slightly uninspiring story aside, the campaign is blockbusting stuff that will take around eight hours on normal difficulty. And if COD's your thing, the multiplayer will keep you jacked onto your console for months. Uh, one more thing. If you bought current gen ghosts and upgrade to an Xbox One or PS4, you can upgrade to next gen ghosts for a crisp tenor, which is enormously difficult to find fault with. Cheers, Activision. So the good news is it's classic COD and we give it five stars. But stay tuned. The Call of Duty goodness keeps on coming. And I'll be reporting from the star-studded launch party later and asking celebrities stupid questions. It'll be fun, probably. Tune in.